Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing how I made this fabric journal cover for my newest art journal. I'm working with a piece of cotton fabric. It has kind of a craft color and I have already applied a layer of gesso with the jelly plate and some gesso directly with a brush. Now I want to decorate the cover and I'm using my jelly plate together with acrylic paint. I'm using a stencil from Stencil Girl to create a nice pattern on my cover. I'm using another stencil from Stencil Girl to remove some of my turquoise paint with a wet baby wipe. I'm playing with another stencil that's also from Stencil Girl and I add even more texture to my cover.
Now it's time to sew the cover together and I'm using a piece of snap pap that's the same as craft tags. It's kind of a vegan leather and I use a glue stick to glue it to my fabric so that um, it doesn't move when I'm sewing. I clipped everything together and cut my fabric a little bit larger than my snap pep and sew the bottom of my cover together. Now I cut everything to the right size, that means that my fabric is a little bit larger for sewing. I will cut down the excess after I'm done. I sewed all around my cover now and now it's time to cut everything to the same size. The snap pad makes everything stable, it's very much better than using um, paper for the inside because you can tear it. Now it's time to create the signatures for the book. I'm using different kinds of papers. I have thinner quality paper because it's easier to sew them together. And I have craft paper, black paper and some white paper. And I clipped everything together and I fold the inside page of my little book so I have a crease line where I can see where I'm sewing and I go to my sewing machine and sew everything together when I sewed everything together I use a cutter and cut down the papers to the same size. You don't have to use blank papers to make this little booklet. You can also use any kind of junky papers and make a junk journal out of it. Now it's time to measure out where I want to add the signatures to my cover. I will stitch them in by hand because my sewing machine cannot stitch through so many layers of paper. And I'm using a ruler and measure out where I need to put my holes in.
I'm measuring the same size to the inside of my booklet so I know where I have to make the holes to put my thread through. It makes it easier when you make the holes before you do the stitching. I'm using a thick black thread to stitch the booklets into my cover. Make sure to make your thread long enough that you can tie it in the middle because my first one was a little bit too short and it was really hard to close it. And here I have a little help by my son.
The book also needs a closure and I'm using a very easy technique. I'm adding a bread together with a piece of ribbon to the cover so you can close it easily. Another way to close it would have been to add a piece of ribbon in between the fabric and the snap pad before sewing so you can uh, tie a bow afterwards. To decorate the cover I have added a lot of ribbons to the thread of my binding. I hope you enjoyed today's video and maybe you make your own fabric cover for your next journal. I hope we see us next time. Bye!